In this lecture, we are going to learn about various scheduling options that are available in Primavera P6 and how different scheduling options work. We'll click the schedule icon here and it opens as the schedule window and I'll go to the options menu here. Once I click options, under general tab, I can see three scheduling options, the retained logic option, progress override option and actual dates option. Let's understand them one by one. These various options actually come into play when there is out of sequence progress in a project. Out of sequence progress means when a successor activity progresses before the completion of its predecessor activity. For example, let's say, first let me close this window. Let's say according to a baseline schedule, civil drawings preparation drawing is supposed to finish first and then architectural drawings preparation is supposed to start. In order to understand the out of sequence progress, let's take the example of the activities under engineering WBS. Activity civil drawings preparation is supposed to finish on 26th of May and architectural drawings preparation starts on 29th of May. Let's say that civil drawings preparation did not start. Instead, the architectural drawings preparation started before civil drawings, although they have a finished to start relationship. So let's say that today is 1st of June or 2nd of June and our architectural drawings preparation has started. I'll give it a start date of 29th of May and let's say I give it a progress percentage of 10%. Now I will schedule my project with the new data date of 1st of June or 2nd of June and I'll schedule this project. Now once I have scheduled this project, due to out of sequence progress, civil drawings preparation was supposed to finish first and then architectural drawings was supposed to start. But what happened here is that the successor activity started before its predecessor. This is out of sequence progress. Now, if you look at the Gantt chart, you can see here that this activity, architectural drawings preparation is actually split now, which means that the remaining part of this activity will only start after the completion of its predecessor. This only happens when we are using the scheduling option of retained logic, which means that it retains the logic of the schedule. So, it schedules the remaining part of this out of sequence activity after the completion of its predecessor. However, if I use the progress override option instead of retained logic option, progress override means that it ignores the relationships of the schedule. So, if I use progress override, it lets the successor complete even before its predecessor. So, if I choose progress override and I click close and I schedule the project again with this option, now you can see that this split gap has been removed and the activity and this activity is no more split and it doesn't honor the relationship so it ignores the relationship between two activities and thus this activity can be finished the architectural drawings operation can be finished even before its predecessor so what retained logic does is it retains the logic of the schedule while as the progress override it doesn't retain the logic and it ignores the relationship as i told you earlier these options come into play only when we have out of sequence progress. Now let's have a look at the third option. I'll again go to the options here and then select retained logic again once. Close this and I schedule it. And you can see the task is split. Now if I use the actual dates option, what it does is that it takes the actual date of the out of sequence activity or the successor activity and it calculates the float of this activity on the basis of that actual date. You will understand this by this example. Let's go to the options here again and select actual date, close and schedule. Now it has split it again, the activity is split again as per the retained logic system. But what has happened here is that now a negative float of minus 14 days has come in, which means that this activity was supposed to finish 14 days before and this activity is late by 14 days according to the progress of its successor. Since the predecessor activity has not started its out of sequence progress, it inserts the float of minus 14 days. So this is how the scheduling engine of P6 works and how different scheduling options work. You should try to use retained logic as much as possible in your schedule and use progress override or actual dates with caution.